Hello everybody and welcome back to another weekly episode of Vacuum Exposition. Uh, I know we had done a uh, Vacuums Rescued episode last week, um, so you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, would love to do that possibly once a month, every couple months, depending on, you know, how many we find. So, you know, it really will depend on what all uh, comes in, per se. Um, now, today we're going to be back in our regular, you know, doing the, the expose on a certain machine and then uh, doing our run demo and all that. So uh, uh, we will be getting into that. Um, now, uh, in additional news, we are coming up on the one year anniversary of the channel. So um, be prepared, we will be doing a, a series of special videos for that. Um, of course, I have received several requests for different videos. Uh, and I do apologize that I have not gotten uh, to all of them quite yet, but I assure you there have been a lot of them that have come in, uh, and being that I have been moving, it hasn't necessarily been the top priority lately, so um, I uh, have been trying my hardest to get uh, videos out for you guys amongst the move, um, but uh, be patient with me, I will get to every one of those requests. Uh, it just may take a little bit of time just to getting everything uh, all unpacked and uh, set up again. So without further ado, let's get on to today's exposition. All right, everybody. So what we have here is an upright, but not just any upright. It's actually a quite rare one. Now, I know I haven't done a Kirby for quite some time, so uh, and I do apologize to those that have been requesting them, but here we are. Here is a Kirby. And what we are looking at today is not just any Kirby. This is a Kirby Heritage 2 Legend 2 from 1989 that spanned to about 1991 uh, for sales. Now, this isn't just any Legend 2, as uh, you can see. Now, before or I get too deep, I will show a picture of what a regular production uh, Heritage 2 Legend 2. I will show a picture uh, of what one uh, looks like normally off the production line right here. As you can see, it is a bit different than uh, what we are looking at right here. So what these were nicknamed was the Granny Nozzle. Now, Kirby, of course, has been in business for quite some time. Uh, and has been and will continue to be, you know, a premium vacuum brand, still sold door to door in a lot of cases now. These were sold with this small nozzle front to what people would consider, you know, the elderly buyer uh, of Kirby's that have had their machines since, you know, the 40s or 50s that were used to having a smaller nozzle like this. Um, to get around their furniture. Now, with that production wide nozzle, or what was also called the winged nozzle, um, it could get a little bit tough. I mean, as you know, we've seen with uh, the Kirby Classic Omega that we did a while back, you know, that was about a 16 inch power, power head at the front, whereas we're looking at quite a bit, about 13, 14 on this one. So just those few inches were a lot. Um, now it made it a lot more nimble to get around things and, you know, I can completely understand why somebody would want the small nozzle. Um, now I have one of each of the Heritage 2 set, uh, in addition to some of the Heritage set, um, and I'll show a picture of my set right here. As you can see, they all had those wider nozzles, but they all did have the option of this small head nozzle. I do want to say this for any Kirby enthusiasts out here. These, while they are interchangeable for the Heritage set, they are not interchangeable for, uh, let's say, like a 500 series Kirby, which is what these essentially were in the casting. Um, the reason being is because they did have special uh, safety switches that came on the Heritage set. So uh, if you try to put the nozzle from uh, an earlier machine on a Heritage 2 setup, it will not turn on because it won't trigger those safety switches. 
Um, now, the Heritage 2 Legend 2 uh, is a historic machine for Kirby. Um, and that's mainly because this was the last regular, non-self-propelled, early design Kirby before they went into the G series, which would have been the self-propelled models. Um, now, the Legend 2 was the last to have uh, the mini emptor of this design, but they you could still order the Heritage 2 Legend 2, the Heritage 2 Legend, or the Heritage 2 uh, with a metal emptor for dust cup. So um, essentially, you could order this machine exactly like you would have ordered one in the 50s, um, so that it would have basically just taken up that parking spot in the, the uh, cleaning closet there. Um, now, all of the Heritage set did come with the patented convenience group of attachments. And I'll show a picture uh, of this one with everything that it would have come with, uh, sans the small nozzle with a regular nozzle, uh, right here. As you can see, you had a big box for attachments, you had a carpet cleaner, as well as other attachments to make sure that these machines were ambidextrous in a way so that you could essentially do everything for cleaning with it. It really was what sold a lot of these. Now, these now are quite rare. Um, the small heads were sold in limited numbers, you know, um, not very many people wanted to go that, that extra mile and, you know, sometimes uh, salesman didn't even mention it when they had it up there. Um, the, uh, the other thing to note with these small nozzles is they didn't always match up right with the headlight and everything. So I'll show it kind of right here. Um, if you can see right there, there's this little scuffing mark where they essentially chiseled out a corner. And that's because the, the headlight does not fit perfectly with these mini nozzles. Uh, essentially, you know, it leaves about an, a half inch gap above uh, the belt lifter right here uh, and just doesn't tend to sit very well usually. Um, so, you know, for perfectionists, they will see, you know, the gaps around here and they'll go, eh, that looks weird. Um, but uh, there were some instances that dealers would take and, you know, either grind it off or the factory sometimes did it, but it was kind of in rare instances and with how little we saw of these it makes complete sense why you know that little extra touch didn't always get put on the machine now regardless of that we still see this machine as being one of kirby's top made representations um, the heritage set from all the way from 1981 all to 1991 so a 10-year span uh, was probably one of Kirby's most popular sets. And not just because of, you know, the different colors, the different features, the different attachments, but because it was really a very nimble machine, even with a big nozzle on it. Um, and it did come with the patented mini emptor, which made it easier to change bags and everything. Um, so these machines were a really great uh, product from Kirby. I, really wish that you know they had continued this type of a design um, but i realized that uh, they had to evolve which is why they went into the g series and starting with the g3 um, and uh, went into more self-propelled examples so what we are going to do we are going to do a quick run demo with this fantastic machine and just see how well it performs. It's been kind of sitting in storage for a while, so uh, it'll be nice to get it woken up again. Um, we do have a little bit on the floor. Like I said, I've been moving, so there's pieces of uh, styrofoam and whatnot that need to be cleaned up. So uh, let's get the Legend 2 all hooked up and see how it works. All right, everybody, we have it all plugged in and ready to go. I will have to do some adjustment with the height adjustment on the, uh, the for the floor nozzle so that it does get a good grip on that carpet. Um, but let's see how the old uh, Heritage 2, Legend 2 from 1989 uh, do on the carpet. <laughs>
everybody. I hope you enjoyed our little demo, uh, as well as the exposition on the Heritage 2 Legend 2 uh, by Kirby from 1989. Um, it was a very cool machine, and I'm really happy to have found it. Uh, uh, anyways, you all have a great rest of your week. We, of course, will see you again next weekend. Um, it will be a little bit of a special episode because I will have a special guest with me next weekend. Um, but uh, either way, we will catch you guys again next Sunday, same place, uh, and uh, we'll uh, see you then.